Common hill minas are known as one of the most popular pet birds around the world. Characterized by their jet black plumage and orange yellow patches of skin on their head and nape, the common hill mina is also known as one of the most kept species of birds in the world. And the biggest reason for their popularity as pets is because of their uncanny ability to mimic human speech. In fact, they can mimic up to 100 different words and sounds and even sing. Here is an example of a mina singing a duet with its pet owner. Bahai kubu, bahai kubu, ang halaman doon. Minas may be a relatively common bird throughout Asia. However, the Palawan Hill Mina, the Philippines' very own subspecies of Mina, is classified as critically endangered in the wild. The main factor being poaching for the illegal wildlife trade, with Palawan Hill Minas even having a history of being sold openly in the streets. And since there is a popular demand for talking birds like Minas, and that minas are fairly hard to breed because of their sexual monomorphism, meaning male and female minas are hard to tell apart, it is inevitable that suppliers would try and find the easiest and cheapest method in procuring minas, poaching from the wild. Poaching Palawan Hill minas can have grave consequences for its habitat and natural ecosystem. Mina diet usually consists of insects and fruit, and as flying omnivores, they are an important part of keeping and growing the forests that they reside in because of two main reasons. One, they feed on insects and pests that hinder the growth of crops and small plants, meaning that plants are given more opportunities to thrive. And number two, most importantly, they help spread seeds because of their droppings and fruit transportation. The latter meaning they fly around with the fruits inadvertently spreading seeds all over the ground. Perhaps one of the biggest challenges in making sure that the Palawan Hill Minas survive is the prohibition of poaching or displacing them from the wild. Especially since caught minas cannot be reintroduced into the wild because the sounds and noises that it had already mimicked from people may infect the wild population, thus exposing and interrupting their natural cycles. There is nothing inherently wrong with having minas as pets. However, making sure that one's pet mina is not the endangered Palawan Hill mina and that it is not from the illegal wildlife trade is the responsibility of each prospective pet owner. And the same could be said for most exotic pets in the Philippines. By making responsible choices in deciding which pet that you decide to have with you at home, you are already contributing to the elimination of wildlife poaching. Wild-caught pets not only have trouble assimilating to domestic life, but the habitat and ecosystem that they are a part of are robbed of an essential component of how they work. And the same holds true for the Philippines' very own flagship species, the Philippine Eagle. Just this past year, the Philippine Eagle Foundation has had an unprecedented number of Philippine Eagle rescues. Over 10 rescues within a single calendar year. This is a record number for rescues in the history of the Philippine Eagle Foundation's conservation efforts since the foundation's inception. The reason? Human encroachment within their environment. Much like the story of the Palawan Hill Mina, the more we humans interrupt the ebb and flow of nature and its ecosystem, the more we harm our beloved species, our livelihoods, and ultimately, our future. <laughs>